service is now underway for the victims lost in the shooting tragedy on Saturday. I'm Natasha Paloma. I'm Daniel Marin. New tonight, KTSM 9 News reporter Brenda Medina was there as friends and family said their goodbyes to Leonardo Campos, murdered alongside his wife. An emotional farewell as loved ones gathered to remember 41-year-old Leonardo Campos. He was a great role model. Um, he was always pushing me to do the right thing. Um, he used to coach me and a bunch of my friends, uh, literally, so everybody knows him as Coach Campos. His youngest brother, David Campos, tells us Leo moved to El Paso about five years ago, and within that short time, touched the hearts of many, including his co-workers, who still can accept he's gone. I waited for my coffee every morning. It's hard to go to work. It's really, really hard to go to work. I know a lot of people are hurting. His mother and family overwhelmed by the show of support from the El Paso community as they find comfort in those consoling them. I was at home. Um, I was at home and they called my other brother and he broke down the news for, for my mom. And I was, I was there when he told my mom. It was just a heartbreak. We, we, see the, we see these type of things happen and you never expect it's gonna happen to you. And it suddenly happens to you and it's just, it's like a nightmare. And you just, you can't wake up from it. Campos will be flown to McAllen where another viewing will be held and he'll be laid to rest. Brenda Medina, KTSM 9 News. There are also photos of Leonardo and his wife Maribel Hernandez Loya at the memorial site. Maribel's services will be Saturday at Martin Funeral Home West. She will then be laid to rest at Memorial Pine Cemetery in Sunland Park. We'll have more on the